this is a pump that I've removed from a washing machine. So now we've got it off and we've got it on the bench, we're just going to do a couple of tests before we put it back. It's a really basic type of pump and in there there's an impeller and on there fits an hose which is the inlet so the water is sucked through there and is pumped out of here which is the outlet and that's got a simple non-return valve on it so it'll let the water flow up that way and then that falls back and stops it going back into the pump. So if we look on the end here that's where the actual connectors are connected for the electrical connections on the motor. So what we're going to do whilst we've got it on the bench is we're just going to check it to make sure that it's not an open circuit or anything. So for that we're going to use a, a multimeter. So I've put the leads in the correct sockets which is the red socket and the com socket and then I'm going to switch the multimeter onto ohms with bleep just to test it's working. So I'm just going to touch the two probes together and you can hear there that it's, it is bleeping so now we know that the meter is working. We'll make sure that the meter is switched to resistance and then we'll just touch the probes together and they should go to zero because there's zero resistance there. When the probes are apart there's resistance there we've got a one and when we touch them together it goes down to 0 0.15 which means that we've not got an open circuit so there's every chance that this pump is working fine electrically so we're just going to remove these three Torx head screws now and take a look inside the pump So I'll just gently prise it apart and you can see there that it has got some fluff in there and a piece of elastic band and uh, a, bit, a bit of fabric that's uh, wrapped around the impeller. So if we just gently prise that off and then if we reassemble that we should find that it works a, a, a lot better without those bits in there. Uh, one thing you've got to check for is the o-ring around the edge there because that's what actually creates a seal when you put the pump back together. So we'll just push that back in there now and then we'll just put the three screws back in. What you don't want to do is over tighten these because you are screwing into plastic so don't go mad when you tighten them but do make sure that they are tight. So if we fit this back to the machine now it should work uh, in a level a lot better than it was doing. <laughs> 